welcome back to my channel. So today I have another delicious slow cooker meal for you guys, especially now that we're getting into these really chilly months. It's a great opportunity to get your slow cooker out, dust it off and get cooking with it because they're such an amazing tool to have. Tool, Did you call it a tool? They're just an amazing thing to have. So, today I'm going to be showing you a beef meal that we all really love. And I use it with a recipe base. So this is the Master Food Slow Cooker Recipe Base. And it's the beef and red wine casserole. And it is divine. I tell you, you guys are gonna love it. So it has a serving size of four people and you're just going to add your beef, mushrooms, carrots, tomato paste, red wine, your recipe base, and potatoes as well. So you've got too many ingredients, which is great, and all things that you probably have on hand anyway. There's a few ways you can cook this one. Because it does contain red wine, I tend to cook it a couple of different ways. If the kids are going to be enjoying this meal with us, I'll use an imitation red wine, so one that is 0% alcohol. And if it's gonna be just Tones and I, or adults, then I'm going to use the real deal because who doesn't love a bit of red wine? And it is super tasty, quick and easy, and just a really lovely winter's meal to sit down and enjoy together. Now, I know that they say if you cook with wine, I think it has to be past a certain degree that it then removes the alcohol from the wine but I'm not too sure about with a slow cooker so if you were cooking like on the stove and it gets really hot I think that can help um, remove the alcohol content is that what it means but anyway I don't want to risk it <laughs> so I'll just use an imitation non-alcoholic red wine so I really hope you guys enjoy today's cooking video and let's jump on into it so this recipe calls for 500 grams of lean beef diced, 200 grams of mushrooms, two carrots, I'll be using four, two tablespoons of tomato paste, 125 mils of red wine, and I'm going in with Shiraz, your Master Foods beef and red wine casserole recipe base, and four medium potatoes. I'll be using six small to medium sized potatoes. First up, I'll begin by browning my beef over the fry pan and then I will move on to peeling and dicing up all my potatoes. And now that my beef has been browning for a couple of minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add my mushrooms to the beef and cook them together. And then it'll be time to move on to the carrots. So I'll go ahead and peel them all up and then dice them up into small pieces.
So today I'm going to be cooking my meal on high for four hours. So I already have had my slow cooker turned on and preheated and it's all ready to go. So now I'll go ahead and I'll add my beef and my mushrooms to the slow cooker along with my carrots, potatoes, tomato paste, red wine and the recipe base also. I'll give it a good stir to ensure that everything is mixed through evenly and then I'll leave it for a couple of hours and then come back and give it another stir through as well. Okay, so it's been four hours now and it is smelling delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. All the veggies have softened, so it's all cooked through and ready to serve. So I'll be serving our beef casserole today with some couscous. I just love couscous and it's just a nice change from rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and take two cups of couscous to three cups of boiling water and I'll just let that stand for around three minutes and then I'll give it a stir through with a fork to separate the grains. And voila! Here are Tones and I's meals for the next two nights. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe today and I hope it gave you some inspiration towards your next meal. Please remember to like, subscribe and share this video with your friends and follow us on Instagram and we look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Okay, bye guys.